The next section of Luke begins like this. <clears throat> In the time of Herod, king of Judea, there was a priest named Zechariah who belonged to the priestly division of Abijah. His wife Elizabeth was also a descendant of Aaron. Both of them were upright in the sight of God, observing all the Lord's commandments and regulations blamelessly. But they had no children, because Elizabeth was barren, and they were both well along in years. So, th this is kind of interesting. Luke focuses to start with by saying there's this guy named Zechariah, and then he goes through some of his genealogy. He says Aaron was his great, 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 great grandfather. And that's really interesting. Because if you're a priest in that time period, you had to prove that you really were supposed to be a priest. They took their family lines really seriously. It's something that we don't really have in our culture as much. But back then, this was huge, that you had to prove that you belonged here. And Luke begins by saying, I did the research. This Zachariah guy, he belonged here. He was married to a woman named Elizabeth, and she was from the same family line. They weren't cousins. Don't worry about that. They, they, this was not incest. But if you go back far enough, they were related. And they were old, and they didn't have children. And we're going to talk about the children thing tomorrow. But for right now, this is what's important. Luke wrote this down as historical evidence that this is real. Look, I did the research. You can go back. You can check the family genealogies. Zachariah belonged to this family. He was married to a woman named Elizabeth. And that, again, stresses what we talked about last week a little bit. This is history. This is reality. Zechariah was a real person. He really lived. He really died. And this, again, is giving us a, a stable foundation to say the rest of this book is going to be historical that these things are real. It's not based on opinion or conjecture, but this really happened. And what that means is that Jesus really died, and it means that you are really forgiven.